Imagine being able to know if you're going to get cancer, heart disease, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, Huntington's. You will be able to do something earlier to prevent those. This is what whole genome sequencing can do for you. So what is it? Whole genome sequencing, or WGS for short, is a powerful lab technique that determines the complete set of genetic instructions or your DNA. It's like reading an entire instruction manual that tells your body how to function, grow, or even develop certain diseases. Think of it like a map. Your DNA is like long strands of letters, A, T, C, and G. The WGS reads all these letters in order and reveal the complete sequence of your genetic blueprint. And what that finds out is a lot of things. Number one, increased risk for cancer, heart disease, and Alzheimer's. It finds out how your body reacts to drugs. It also looks for rare diseases that your doctors couldn't pinpoint before. It can even discover where your ancestor came from and how your genes shaped your family. It can peek into your athletic potential and tell you things like your strength and endurance. It looks for how your body digests food and whether or not your body can digest certain things or not. It looks at your gut buddies, so these are your bacteria, which surprisingly can affect your health in many ways. And lastly, it peeks at genes related to aging and gives us clues in terms of longevity and aging. So what's the point of all this? Well, one application of this is personalized medicine. What is that, you ask? Well, think of traditional medicine like treating the disease and not the person. When you're fixing a flat tire on any car, the traditional medicine way is to fix it the same way, regardless of the car's model or previous wear and tear. You use a one-size-fits-all way to treat this. A personalized medicine based on your genome considers your individual genetic information, lifestyle, and health history. So it's like fine-tuning a car based on its engine, mileage, and driving habit. Other ways you can use your genome is for diagnosis. So find those genetic mutations associated with cancer, heart disease, and Alzheimer's that we talked about. Or forensics, you can use it to find individuals based on their DNA profile, much better than using fingerprints. Hold up, doc. If this sounds so good, why don't we all just get it? Well, like all good things in the world, there is also downsides. The downside of whole genome sequencing includes, number one is cost. The cost has actually gone down quite remarkably since it was invented. It used to be tens of thousands of dollars. Right now, it's only about 1,000. And you might wonder, what's the difference between this and 23andMe, which is only about 100? Well, 23andMe only covers 0.02 of your DNA, whereas this genome sequencing covers whole, which is 100%. But it's like buying a fancy gadget. Your insurance might not cover it, and it still set you back a bit. Privacy is another problem. Sharing your DNA is like sharing your deepest secret, so you want to make sure it's safe and nobody can use it against you. Anxiety about potential risk is a problem too. We don't really have treatment for everything that we find, so it's like asking you the question, if you can find out when you're going to die, you want to, even though there's nothing you can do about it. For some of us, probably not. Now lastly, ethical issue is a problem too. If you can find out what the genetics of your partner is, would you use that against them and try to find one with the best genes so that you can have eugenetics? That is a whole different topic. So know this, whole genome sequencing is not a map, but a compass. It doesn't point to a destination, but empowers you to navigate this ever-changing landscape of your life. So use it wisely and with caution. Take control, protect yourself, and enjoy exploring your unique genetic story.